We know you don't wait until the end of the quarter to think about your money. That right now, you want to know where you are and where you'd like to be. We know you'd like to see the same information your advisor does, so you can get a deeper understanding of what's going on with your portfolio. We know all this because we asked you. And what we heard helped us create PNC Wealth Insight, a smarter way to work with your PNC advisor so you can make better decisions and live achievement. Let's put this real clearly, shall we? A nasty divorce battle is ruining the Los Angeles Dodgers. How often does the same thing happen to smaller family businesses? Good question. Joining the company now is John Paddy. He's a divorce attorney. John, welcome to the program. Thank you, Stuart. Great to be here. I would bet that nine times out of ten, if there is a divorce, man and wife divorce, and they own a small business, it is a disaster for the business, right? It's a disaster because it's a change. It's something different that nobody anticipated. Nah, the business is split <clears throat> up. That's what happens. Well, yeah. Well, the marital well, enterprise... you've got to sell it to satisfy one part or the other. Maybe, maybe not. If I'm representing the wife, I don't want him to sell it. Why should I kill the golden goose? Maybe I take a buyout over time. I'm counseling my gal. If it's a husband and wife and assuming the husband owns a business, I'm counseling my gal. Don't kill the golden goose. Let the business flourish. Because the more money he makes, the more money you make. Liz Clayman is with us this morning, ladies and gentlemen. And if you didn't already know it, Liz is a native of Los Angeles and has strong feelings about this awful divorce that has truly ruined the Dodgers. It did ruin them. Well, listen, it's in bankruptcy court right now. That's never a good thing. But I've been asking everybody in L.A. Because I can't I mean, the last Dodger game I went to, I think the Fernando Valenzuela was pitching. LA. I remember him. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But... People are now saying that they are so disgusted by the McCourts, who I kind of thought, hey, why is everybody angry at them? I just hadn't followed the story. They said they're so disgusted they won't even buy at face value a ticket, even if they're Dodger fans, because they're so disgusted that they had taken this money and they had kind of utilized it, bought lots of houses, and they never really cared enough about the team. That's the perception. But now you've got an entire team that may be torn apart, although I yes. would argue MLB will really fight to make sure the Dodgers survive. Well, John, there's an example of a divorce that did, really did ruin the business. A family business. What did they do wrong? Well, what they did wrong is they took it too far. They have a, a, a case where she wants 50% of that business, and he's not able to do it. He's not able to come up with the value, which was 800000 He's not able to come up with half of that business. And then you had, which you don't have in the small businesses that we, I deal with day to day, mm -hmm. you have situations where you have third parties that you have to get decisions from, like the Major League Baseball. Yeah. Is this common, though? A small business, divorce on the part of the, the man and wife who own it, and uh, you, you, you come in. This is common? It's common. It's common because you're dealing with emotions. Uh, as opposed to a corporation where partnerships uh, split, people shake hands and walk away, you're dealing with love. Somehow or other, though, you've got to come up with a settlement which allows part of the value of the business to go to one party and part of the value of the business to go to the other. That's, That's what correct. you've got to do. Yes, but not always. As I said, there are other ways. Uh, we could, instead of splitting the business up, another solution is putting the business up for sale. And splitting the proceeds. But from either it. way, it's a distraction, Stuart, yeah. isn't it? And it sure. becomes a real problem. Sure. You remember the old case a couple of uh, decades ago, well, maybe two, uh, Gary Went, who was a GE yes. chairman over at GE Capital, and he had this very bitter divorce. It was over much smaller sums 20 million, 15 million. And what happened? He ended up moving on to another company, Conseco, which was an insurance company. It was just a massive distraction, well, and nothing turned out well bring, for the company. You bring up a good point, Liz. Because and I often equate this to attorneys. We use our mind. That's our tools. I, you know, I don't hammer anything and my wife says, please don't. So I don't. But <laughs> our mind is our tools. So if our mind is distracted, we're not able to do the business like we normally did when times were good. When things are good at home, yeah. you're doing good business. Dude, this is bad for her, though, be, the, the, going to bankruptcy court, because she's not a creditor. I mean, the bankruptcy judge is only concerned with the creditors. The Manny Ramirez is the world who's owed $21 million. And what she's not in that list. She's not in line. So can her attorneys do anything now or in the near future to uh, usurp the bankruptcy judge to say, this was never valid to begin with because I should be a part owner of the Dodgers, which if the TV deal was done and everything was done, she would have you know, washed her hands with that. But that TV will done that tv deal is not done so she may still have an argument to be a part owner of the dodgers see chris this is where my jaded mind comes in i'm looking at the bankruptcy as a discharge of debts which makes which may make the dodgers increase in value 
course, it's horrible publicity. But again, whether or not she owns the Dodgers is is now in litigation. And that, I understand, will be solved in August. Uh, OK, we'll wait and see. John Patty, divorce attorney. Thanks, John. Thanks, Thank John. You. Appreciate Thanks, it. Stuart. Thanks, Liz. Listen to this.